Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is get velocity? So let's go ahead and look at our example project here. Let's look at our graph, and we have a pretty simple note. It's called get velocity. It's going to take in an actor, and it's going to return back a velocity. Well, it's going to return back a vector, which is going to represent the velocity of your character. Now, what is the velocity? Well, first of all, let me rephrase the velocity of the character. The velocity node here basically returns the information of the root component if it has physics, or if it's got a movement component attached to it. And the velocity is basically the speed internally that the item is moving in the direction it's moving. Let me show you this. Let's run our example here. And we'll look at our velocity up top. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to move backwards. And you'll see 600 on the X. Or, well, if I stop dropping off, let's let's move this character this way. Let's go like this. Okay. So we're going to see negative 600 on the Y or positive 600 on the Y, depending on if I'm basically going this way or this way. And you also see a little bit on the X because my character is not perfectly straight. You can see how he's not straight based on the bottom. The more straight I am, the more zero of the X velocity because I'm not going in the X direction at all. Here, let's actually do this the smart way. Move our character all the way down here. Rotate him like this, 90 degrees. And now we should have a zero on the X. There we go. We're going perfectly straight. And you can see I have basically a positive six or negative six for my velocity. Now that of course is determined by my character. We'll go under walk and we have walk speed. And because I'm using a character component that determines my max walk speed in a particular direction and it's capped at 600 now. I change it to 900, go back into my example. And you'll of course see my character is now going roughly 900, negative 900. And of course, falling down doesn't help. But when I fall, you'll see my Z is going to accelerate to my maximum falling velocity. Basically, I'm falling backwards and I'm going down. And of course, if I start the game up here and I jump, you can see my Z is going to go up and down, depending on if I'm currently going up or down. If I'm going at an angle, I'm going to have both a positive X. I'm going to both, sorry, I'm going to have an X and a Y value. So technically, going like this is going to give me a positive X and Y. Going like this will give me a negative for both because, again, based on our directions, we have a positive x this way, well, negative x. We have negative in this direction and positive, yeah. So basically it just tells me, based on positives and negatives, for the x's, the y's, and the z's, both the speed I'm going in that direction as well as which direction I'm going. So it's really easy to tell the direction your character is going as well as how much speed they have total. So that's what our get velocity node is for. It's if you want to tell the velocity of an actor and you want to know basically which direction it's going and how much of that direction it's going. And if you have a character movement component, which we had in our case, it's going to return back that value. Or if you're using physics, it's going to return back the actual velocity in the physics system based on you know where it's going and how much it's going. Keep in mind this has to target an actor. There is another component, not a component, there's a node that targets components and that is covered in a separate video. And that's it. And that's going to wrap up our Git Velocity node.